Hey guys! Okay, so today I have a very important appointment to attend to. I took half day leave today uh, because I have the appointment is like around 2 plus and I'm actually kind of late. Okay, not really late lah, but just that I like to be on time for this kind of important uh, appointment. So I'll bring you guys with me. We will talk more along the way later. Okay, bye! Hey guys, we are at the HGB again for the I don't know how many how, how many how many times we are here, but let's just fast forward to the day that we collect our keys lah. I wish. <laughs> so we are going up to level three to get the signing done. So um, let's run through uh, what we have done for this flat lah. Okay. Um, firstly, we already selected. Uh, we already went went down to select our flat and already paid uh, two thousand uh, dollars as a deposit. Option fee. Okay, option fee. <laughs> and then now about one month, two months plus later, we were called up to sign lease, and then it was somewhere in April. 9 mm -hmm. April I think then uh, the instructions they to us to just bring along our IC and and that's about it then we went to down to the appointment but uh, we didn't manage to sign the lease up to the last minute because they told us that our housing loan eligibility application must be approved but we didn't know and it was not stated in the instruction when they were to uh, email it to us lah. So we just wasted our time. So yeah, on our appointment, uh, on the 9th April appointment, it was a wasted trip. And it was so frustrating because they should have informed us, we didn't know. So now is, what's the date today? 28. 28 July and we are back for the third time. Uh, this time now we are confirm gonna sign the list if not i'm gonna be like so frustrated with hdb's uh, lack of instructions you know okay then uh yeah so just a fr friendly reminder to all the people out there when you are about to sign this make sure that your hle application is approved before you come down uh, or you can actually defer your appointment lah, to a later later date yeah, don't make a wasted trip to Tupayo unless you like to see the officer's face here lah. So we have to whisper here because I think it's a confidential area. We're just waiting for our turn. Okay. just got called up and now we are heading to the counter let's go Bidadari the used to be uh, used to be cemetery why so fighting for the people who are well, living there. McNair is at Wampo. Oh this one huh? I don't really have a good vibe to stay there. <laughs> Kalang, sorry to offend.
uh, one thing you have to take note is that um, you need to get your grant ready. Grant must have already been credited to your CPF account. Lah. So uh, for our case, uh, the grant is 50-50. So the things that you need to take note of is actually the purchase price of the house. And the conveyancing fee and the stamp fees will be paid using your own CPF and also the, the 2k deposit uh, is also being offset from the, the purchase price of the house. Okay. But fret not, if you are not sure, you can actually contact a HDB officer uh, for them to assist you. But even though it's slightly, uh, some of them are very like, they talk very fast lah, so you need to like, uh, if you don't know, then ask. Okay, until you know. Uh, I'm sure they will not mind. Lah. So if you go down for your second appointment, uh, make sure you know, uh, at least one of you know what the officer is talking about. At least like, you know, you can check with each other and and not until wait until key collection, which is like in four years time, then you like, oh, this is, this is not what I thought it was, you know. We are not professional. I don't work for HDB. Okay, bye!